hậu vệ để tiếp nối con đường đấu tranh của chúng ta và bây giờ thay hoàng xin giới thiệu hai em là hậu vệ của New South Wales um, Tha Nguyễn và cô Hoa Đoàn hay sẽ nói lên quan điểm của người trẻ về chế độ cộng sản và những gì giới trẻ có thể làm để tiếp tục công cuộc đấu tranh của um, Việt Nam Cộng Hòa xin mời em Convenient reality exists. 
An abyss where nearly 100 million Vietnamese people are regularly robbed of their basic freedoms of expression, association, assembly, and religion. This is primarily due to decades of the Communist Party running an unchecked one-party state. For years, the Communist Party of Vietnam monopolized power through the government, controls all the major political and social organizations, and punishes people who dare to criticize or challenge its dictatorial rule. Human rights! Oh, yeah. 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 Communist Party controlled courts severely, severely punishes people who are accused of being affiliated with political groups all parties that the Communist Party of Vietnam view as threatening its monopoly on power. Human rights defenders, peaceful political activists, and religious followers are subjected to a range of human rights violations, including arbitrary detention, prosecution on national security, and long-term imprisonment, as well as other vaguely worded charges held within unfair trials. Freedom! Freedom! Activists who are most influential face restrictions on movement and are subjected to surveillance, harassment, and violent assaults. Prisoners of conscience are, are and were getting being tortured and otherwise ill-treated. There are suspicious deaths occurring in police custody. Information regarding this issue are being retained. Um, freedom! Freedom! Justice! Freedom! The Vietnamese government continues to prohibit independent or privately owned media outlets from operating. It exerts strict control over radio, TV stations, and printed publications. Activists and bloggers face frequent physical assaults by official or thugs with government connections. These people are not being punished for their attacks. Freedom! Freedom! Justice! Freedom! Down with communism! No, no, no! In June 2018, Vietnam's National Assembly passed a highly problematic law on cyber security that was widely criticized in Vietnam and internationally. Under the new law, which will go into effect, which was in, uh, gone into effect in January 2019, service providers must take down offending content within 24 hours. Internet companies are also required, required to demand without a court order, all of which threaten the right to privacy and could facilitate further suppression of online dissent or activism. All media in Vietnam are under state and party control. The cyber security law is the latest way the authorities are trying to control the internet and cut off people's access to independent views. They get rid of content, content that are deemed detrimental to their own reputation and the survival of their regime. Down with communism! Down, down, down. Human rights! Freedom! 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 Despite Vietnam's worsening human rights record, many donors and trade partners ignored these developments and carried on business as usual. We are shocked and disappointed that the international partners and foreign governments seem to only care about their relationship with the Vietnamese government, not with the Vietnamese people. The international donors and trade partners should publicly support these brave rights defenders and enforce human rights through their relationship and economic powers. Dem demolish commun communism! Demolish Human rights! Justice! Freedom. As one of the leading liberal democracies in the world, Australia must raise human rights in its discussions with the Vietnamese government. Not only would this send an encouraging message to Vietnam's brave human rights activists, but Australia's voice also has the potential to create more space for the Vietnamese people to enjoy. Some of the same civil liberties many Australian people appear to take for granted. Human rights! Freedom! 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 Justice! Freedom! Australia should realize that Vietnam's leaders need to balance their relationship with China, as well as have an equally strong relationship with its aid donors. 
Australia is one of Vietnam's largest bilateral donor and a large export market, leaving it in a unique position to pressure the Vietnamese government to undertake reforms. The failure to put rights on an equal footing with trade and aid is a cynical perpetuation of Australia's values-free diplomacy. The Australian government should press the Vietnamese government to release political prisoners and detainees, end repression of free speech, association and assembly, and take steps to end pol police brutality. We must act now. Democracy! Cảm ơn các em thật sự là hậu vệ của Việt Nam Cộng Hòa. Cảm ơn các em. Cảm ơn hai em. I'm proud to be on the